French Muslim leaders have urged their communities to keep calm as the magazine Charlie Hebdo hits the newsstands today with cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. It's the first edition of the satirical weekly since the terrorist attacks in Paris left 17 people dead last week. Our Europe correspondent Mary Guerin reports from Paris. Charlie is back, still highly controversial, potentially offensive. A clear challenge to those who've sought to make the magazine disappear. Such is the anticipation, queues formed in central Paris in the early hours of the morning to grab a piece of history and support the victims' families. Because of the cause which was so well demonstrated on Sunday, that this is not political, it's all about self-expression. And even where there were delivery glitches, no one was moving, showing the intense demand. People here have been waiting for up to half an hour before this new stand opened. They're not going anywhere for the moment. They're waiting to see if any copies turn up. One thing's for certain, the magazine's provocative message is going to reach a larger audience than ever before. Local media cheered the cartoonist who took over from his slang colleagues and designed the magazine's next cover. He missed the massacre because he was running late for work. The toll is still weighing heavily, but they're defiant. They've defended the decision to feature again an image of Muhammad, a sacrilegious act to many Muslims. It was not the front page the terrorists wanted us to make, because there are no terrorists in it. There's just a man crying, a guy crying. It's Muhammad. Meanwhile, new amateur video gives another view of the Charlie Hebdo killers. The Kawachi brothers are cool and calculated after their attack. More clues could come with the arrest of 29-year-old Fritz Scholli Joachim, a French man detained in Bulgaria as he tried to enter Turkey. Authorities say he was in contact several times last year with Sharif Kawachi. Joachim denies he's a terrorist but faces extradition to France. Meanwhile, in the first session of Parliament since the attacks, an impassioned Prime Minister declared war on extremism. La France, is France is not at war against a religion. France is not at war against Islam and Muslims. Consensus here. The challenge will be maintaining this unity. Mary Guerin, ABC News, Paris.